Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. Today I bring you guys Ending in Zero, episode number three, God Wars Dungeon Boss Edition. For today's episode, I will be killing 77 Ceridomen, 56 Bandos, 95 Armadil, 98 Zamorok, and 82 Nex. All of this minus Nex will be soloed, uh, as most of this series will be, but for the Nex, we're going to be doing FFA massing style. I'm sure you all have already seen the video that I posted about that a few months back. And we'll definitely save next for last, and we'll start with Zamorok, since this should be the one that takes the most time. I figure it's smarter to get this one done first. I did manage to pick up a rune square shield, which is definitely rarer than any item. And uh, as it goes for the drop table at the Zamorok boss, it's really not too great. The hilt, the staff of the dead, and the Zamorok spear are far below 10 mil. Most of them actually under 5 mil, so you're not really not going to be making too much money here, but I don't have the Zamorok pet, and I do think he looks really cool, so obviously I'd say that would be the main goal for this one. I did manage to reach 135 million strength XP, uh, following this 159 million HP XP. It's really good to see that uh, come along. I also took a small little break and did some LMS and unlocked the golden Zamorok special attack, so you might see that occasionally throughout the video, just unlocking some collection log slots from Last Man Standing. Slowly, but surely I will be finishing that collection log uh, entirely one of these days, but back at Zamorok, as you can see, I did want to purchase Missouri for this video, and I did use it for my first few kills at Zamorok. Uh, unfortunately, it did get a rune sword, which is not the greatest, but uh, luckily for me, not too far after that rune sword, I did obtain a Zamorokian spear. Yeah, you certainly never get tired of seeing a Zamorok spear on the ground, although it is 4.1 mil uh, at this current day, and in my Zamorok Rock video a few months back, I believe it was closer to 7 mils, so it looks like it's still going down dramatically. It's probably because of the Fang being the new best in slot at Corporal Beast, but then again, what do I know? So as you can see, the Missouri was switched to full just this year, and instead of praying melee and having Missouri on in my Elijah as tank gear, I figured I would try out this just this year method where I would be praying magic instead of melee, and I would be doing my best to tank. Uh, although this uh, borrowed Elijah that I was using was doing pretty good. It was actually smarter to use an Avernick Defender in the long run. And once I finally uh, finalized my setup with the full just this year and Avernick Defender, as well as my Fang, uh, I was doing very clean trips. But I was having quite a bit of trouble at the beginning because I wasn't doing this method. Other than all that, I was just maging and blood barraging the two minions and then killing the mage minion as soon as the boss died. So that's basically how I was doing Zamorok. I'd say it was definitely a success and we did receive one drop, which is not too bad, ending at 800 kill count. Unfortunately, no pet, but I did receive a steam battle staff, so I guess, you know, counts for something alongside the Zamorok spear. And yeah, I can definitely see myself coming back to Zamorok one day and at least getting a thousand kill count. That'd be nice, a thousand kill count in all of the God Wars dungeon bosses. He is my lowest as it goes for KC, so I will be returning to him eventually, especially if I get him as a slayer task. But for now, we're going to be moving on to Bandos, a very similar setup. I always would bring the Elijah first, but then I look on the wiki and I I'd, you know, always see that the Avernick Defender is just the smarter thing to bring because I guess it, it makes your offensive stats so much better and that uh, it really speeds up the kills. So you don't really need to tank as much as you think you do. And Bandos actually went a lot smoother than Zamrock did, uh, especially since I was able to bring Bones to Peaches. I was constantly getting glue scrolls uh, while getting kill count as well as just killing the minions and the boss himself. So I'll be stacking up all of my hard and elite clues for the end of the video. We actually did end up with quite a few. So stay tuned for that. But as it goes for the drops at Bandos, as you can see here, we did unfortunately receive yet again another rune sword. So it's a little bit rarer than an item, but uh, you know, I guess it'll average out at the end with the RNG. One thing I was seeing a lot of was potato drops, which is why I was able to extend my trip so long uh, compared to Zamorok because I just had so much food on hand and all the blood barrages combined with the food drops, the occasional kebab and uh, using a blood fury as well. That helped out tremendously. Well, it did land me a drop eventually, but this one, of course, being Bando's Boots. So, yeah, not really worth that much money, less than uh, 300k or something like that. So, it's not the Bando's item that you want to see, but I already have the pet. So, I mean, I, I guess that's all right. Uh, but either way, Bando's has been completed at KC 2600. It's not too bad, uh, you know, receiving a one drop uh, from each of the bosses so far. Not the most expensive drops, but hopefully, my 
my luck will continue with Sarah Thoman and especially Armadil, where I really want to see a pet eventually. But yeah, let's go ahead and update the high scores, and uh, there you go, ending in zero once again. The high scores is definitely coming along. I know a lot of you guys commented last video, why don't you name the series ending in zero zero? That is because this series will actually be ending with just one zero in a certain category of bosses that I'm going to be doing. So that is why it won't be ending with two zeros. It'll be ending with one. And yeah, that may not make a lot of sense now, but just wait three more episodes and you'll know exactly what I mean by that. So... Yeah, hopefully that answers that uh, question. We are on to Sarah Doman now. I did manage to hit 175 million range XP, and I finally unlocked all of the special attacks uh, featured at Last Man Standing. So that's pretty cool for the collection log. One of these days, I'll be unlocking all the halos. Hopefully, you'll see that in the next video. I've actually been on for about 14 hours straight today on RuneScape, and it's uh, 12 p.m. I never do voiceovers at this time of the day, but my sleeping schedule schedule is just destroyed so it is what it is but i'm actually working on a video for you guys called boosting slayer points for 20 hours i need a lot of points for my upcoming boss video related to slayer bosses so that's why i'm just kind of doing that video as a whim and uh, should be uploaded probably tomorrow night for you guys so stay tuned for that i've also been working on my other two accounts constantly so running three accounts and all that uh, has been making me enjoy the game much more you know keeping my focus going running low on youtube videos to watch on the side i'll be honest but uh you know if you guys have any suggestions for series or anything like that feel free to leave it in the comments section below and as goes for sarah doman it was going pretty good every time i banked i had a clue scroll to do but uh, on my third trip back i did receive the armadil crossbow current price 44 million gp we have officially gotten one item from every god wars dungeon boss so far so that is incredible with only 20 kills left to go until it'll end in zero with 1800 you might have seen i was uh AFKing Dagoneth Rex there on the Iron Man, but uh, it quickly was a failed video attempt. I was only getting like 23 kills an hour, so 10 hours later, 230 kills, probably not worth uploading. What a shock though, I did receive another rune sword from Commander Ziliana, so now we've gotten an item from every boss and a rune sword from every boss, so I mean, I, I guess I'll take it, as long as we're getting an item after all. But yeah, it worked out really well here, I enjoyed every second. Ceridoman's definitely by far one of my favorite God Wars dungeon bosses, probably tied up there with uh, Armadil or Nex. I don't know. I, I seem to like them all, ex except Zamorak, I'd say. It's a little challenging there. Gonna go ahead and update that notepad document. There we go. We keep things original around here. And uh, yeah, it's raining pretty hard right now, so I apologize if you can hear that. We need it, though. It's been very dry here in South Carolina. Either way, though, looking at the high scores, we're gonna go ahead and update that as I was in the middle of getting some ecumenical keys. And there you go. Ending in zero, Ceridoman 1800 has been completed. Now it is time for Armadil. We're gonna bring out the Missouri as well as the Black Chin Champas. Uh, alongside this, we have the Armadil crossbow instead of the Zerite crossbow. Although, when I did go to Nex, I figured I would purchase the Zerite crossbow for that uh, specifically so that I'd get MVP as much as possible. But I figured it wasn't worth it for Armadil just yet. Well, we have 80 kills left at Armadil, and to my surprise, pretty early on, just about 23 kills into the grind, I did receive an Armadil chain skirt. Not as expensive as the chest plate, but I will take it. A nice 23.1 mil. If you guys remember in loot from 10 hours of soloing Armadil, which I recently completed, I did get two chest plates in that video. So I guess it only makes sense to receive the chain skirt now. But uh, yeah, it's more expensive than the hilt and the helmet. So I will happily take that. And now we've officially gotten a drop from every single God Wars dungeon boss that I've killed so far in this video. Now it's just time for next to give us a drop. So hopefully we see something there. Maybe we'll get another Armadil drop. Maybe we'll see the pet. You never know. You really do never know because I try to make things, you know, not so obvious sometimes. And then other times I feel like I fail miserably at that. But uh, you never know. I mean, I did receive a pretty strange item from Kriara. This being the shield left half, which is 1 and 4,200. And according to my memory, which is ever so bad, I would say that I received two curved bones as well from Armadil in the last couple of years. So, you know, I'm just waiting for that pet. 
I mean, we hit the drop table chance, but it's just always on the wrong item, so maybe uh, one of these days. Either way, though, uh, I did finish pretty strong. In the meantime, I was completing some hard clues while I was banking. Getting ecumenical keys always gives you medium and hard clues to do, so that's really nice. But overall, 4,700 armadillo has been completed. I'm definitely going to be coming back here one day to hit 5,000. I think that's a really awesome accomplishment, and I'm actually kind of proud of myself because most of that was soloed. And most of it was soloed without the Elijah that I'm currently borrowing from a friend, even though it's been like a year, but you know, he still hasn't asked for it back. Thank God. Coming in handy quite a bit recently with these videos, but I hadn't really touched it for quite a while before that. And here we are at one of my favorite bosses in RuneScape. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nex, and there's an elite clue scroll to start things off. So I had to kill Nex 82 times. You guys know me. I officially fell in love with Nex just about, I'd say, six, seven months ago when I first came here for a 10-hour F FFA video. Enjoyed it so much that I had to stay here for 30 more hours and do loot from a thousand. And I just love the community here. I love uh, just the positivity. It's an amazing place to be. It really is. And you can make a lot of money here, but you need a lot of luck, unfortunately. So it just depends on your luck, really, if you're going to be making anything or not, especially while massing. I unfortunately messed up my rune light loot tracker with this one because I still had my loot from 1000 next tracked. So I think the first 28 kills on here, I had to reset. But other than that, the rest of them should be there. Not like I got a drop in the first 28 anyway. And for this one, I was just recording every 10 kills and anytime somebody got a drop, which actually did happen to my surprise, someone who wasn't the MVP named Santa07 did receive the Nextling pet, which is cool. I, I really don't see that pet too much. I often see items, but that's one thing that uh, I don't see too much of. So congratulations to him. As it goes for me, it looks like I was just really getting stuck with the elites. Uh, I was uh, surprised that I wasn't getting MVP as much as I thought I would because I did have full Missouri as well as a Zerite crossbow uh, and a light bearer, which is critical for getting MVP, but a lot of people have the same exact gear as me, so I was, uh, yeah, it's definitely a challenge to get MVP here, but nevertheless, uh, it was a lot of fun. I think it took just a couple hours to do this one, and yeah, I love Nex. It's just probably one of my favorite bosses of all time, and if it wasn't for this consistent, you know, loot series that I've been doing, I could definitely see myself camping Nex until I completed the collection log. That's how much fun I really have there in a mass setting. So I haven't ever formanned it yet. You guys have definitely told me to try it out. So maybe I will one day. But for now, uh, next is complete. Yeah, ending that with a beautiful 1500 kill count. All right. So episode number three is coming to a close. It is now time to price check every single item that I did obtain during this episode. And then we'll be opening up all the clue scrolls. So the very first price check, this is all the runes, a uh, little bit of herbs, a little bit of uh, supplies and resources comes out to be just a about 2.8 million. Then we move on to the second price check. This is uh, some of the next drops that I did receive, and a lot of the rune items is from Sarah Doman and Bandos. Can't forget about that rune square shield from Zamorak as well. And this one, it does come out to be about 4.5 million. That's not too bad for average drops. The coin stack definitely added up from all the minions and all the bosses that I was killing, because uh, it's just kind of a normal drop to receive about 20k coins. As it goes for the third Third price check, this is all of the rare items. This comes to an astounding number of 72 million GP. Well, 71.5 mil, I'm not sure why I didn't round up there. But either way, if you were to add all of those numbers together, uh, overall loot comes out to be 78.8 mil from episode three, God Wars Dungeon Boss Edition. The high scores is looking cleaner than ever before, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all zeros on every single spot on that high score list. It's only a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen, but we will get there halfway through this series so far. We're going to go ahead and open up all these uh, clue scrolls here. Our last uh, memorable moment with a clue scroll was, of course, receiving that Gilded Axe just a couple episodes back, which uh, was 1 in 13,000. Sold it for about 4 million at GP. But uh, to my surprise, nothing really coming from the clues. I actually got a lot of level 2 clue scrolls from getting ecumenical keys as well as hard clues from minions and from getting keys as well as bosses. That master clue that I forgot to do in episode two is, of course, the same master clue casket that is sitting in that inventory, so I'll be opening it in this episode. Hopefully it's uh, something worth, you know, value. That'd be nice, or maybe the pet. I did actually get a uh, new collection log piece with the elite clue scroll, which was the bronze dragon mask. Uh, you know, not as fancy as the lava one, but I'll certainly take that. And the overall cost of supplies for this video, as well as the one death that I had at Armadillo, 
handled came out to be about 10 million so it looks like overall profit's gonna be about 70 mil for this one no pet but a few new collection log slots obtained and the high scores is uh you know ending in zero with all the god wars just gonna hover over the rune light loot tab now check this out uh to see all the loot that we did obtain in this video it took about two and a half days to make this one so i would appreciate it if you guys enjoyed it so feel free to click the like button or leave a comment below it does help share the video and that's about it for now guys i should see you very soon with loot from 20 hours of slayer point boosting featuring konar and that's it for now a special shout out to matthew stivers and swan positive and all the other youtube channel members that i have thank you guys for your generosity and uh thank you for everything else as well stay safe out there and until next time mr no sleep out